another method which can be used to check whether which of the fractions is greater out of a given set of fraction is through the cross multiplication method now what does this cross multiplication method means so let us say I had two fractions a upon B and C upon D okay in the cross multiplication method what we do is we multiply the numerator of the first fraction with the denominator of the second okay and we multiply the numerator of the second with the denominator of the first right so what we get in that case is we get a into D and on the other side we get C into B okay once you find out these two products okay you need to see which one is greater now there could be three distinct circumstances the first one is that A into D is greater than C into B I have not specifically written this as B into C because I am assuming that C is on the second denominator so I am just keeping that in front here right if A into D is greater than C into B okay then what happens is that the new okay the way you need to remember this is that the one in the front the fraction whose numerator in the front is there and which is greater so let's say in this case a into d is greater and a which is the first numerator is that of fraction 1 right so in that case a upon b will be greater right whereas in case you had a into d and c into b in case c into b is greater than a into d now whose numerator is greater c the numerator which was there is c so therefore the fraction whose numerator is greater is going to be bigger so c upon d will be greater than a upon b right this was situation one this was situation two situation three will be a into d is equal to c into b right if this is the case then we know what does this mean this means that these are equal fractions or a upon b will be equal to c upon d right now I'll take one example each where I will prove this to you so let's say you have 6 upon 11 and you have 7 upon 14 right so let's do the cross multiplication so we get 6 into 4 right a into B will be obtained by multiplying this with this and we'll get 7 into 11 6 into 4 is 84 7 into 11 is 77 84 is greater than 77 okay insofar as 84 is concerned the numerator which was there was 6 which is in the first fraction hence 6 upon 11 is greater than 7 upon 14 right let's take another one let's say suppose you have 3 upon 12 here okay and for the other one what do we want to take let's take 9 upon 17 so if you were told to find out which of these two fractions are greater what will you do you will do a cross multiplication 3 into 17 and 12 into 9 3 into 17 9 into 12 3 into 17 gives you 51 9 into 12 gives you 108 obviously 108 is greater than 51 and 108 contains the numerator which whose value is 9 9 is in which fraction it's in this fraction hence 
one can easily conclude that 9 upon 17 is greater than 3 upon 12. Right? Which is this case. Now let's take an example of this. So let's say you had a fraction 7 upon 14 and you have another fraction 9 upon 18. Right? So we do the cross multiplication, we get 7 into 18 and we get 9 into 14. This we know is 126. 18 into 7 will give you 70 plus 56, 126. In these cases, both the numbers are equal and hence we say 7 upon 14 is equal to 9 upon 18. Okay? So that's how you basically compare fractions by using the cross multiplication method.